Howdy, howdy friends, and welcome back to another video. We are at Walgreens today. I know, super late in the week. I am so, so sorry, but there is this new P&G promotion for spend 15, get five, that's gonna double stack with the other weekly promotions. So I could not pass this up. I had to get to there. I had to get to Walgreens and I'm like, well, I might as well just make the video um, and share it with all of you, my friends. So, Spoiler alert, one did not work on getting, actually the PNG promotion did work. So it was the other weekly promotion that didn't print out the register reward. So definitely stay tuned to the video to find out what that is so you don't make that, um, so you can try to avoid that. But if any of these are working for you guys, aren't working for you guys, definitely drop a comment, let us know. I know Walgreens does that sometimes and it's so frustrating, I'm sorry. But um, I grabbed almost Seven, over $71 worth of product for $0 out of my pocket because I use Walgreens cash to pay as well as a Visa gift card um, that I didn't count in my couponing budget. So $0 for over $71 worth of product. So definitely stay tuned to see how I did all that. All right, we'll see you guys in there. <laughs> So this week at Walgreens, we have a double stacking promotion on some P&G products because there are a bunch of participating products that are spend 15, get a $5 register reward on top of what they are originally in the ad for. So for example, these Venus, Gillette Venus razors, they're $11.99 at my store. They're buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy two, you're going to get an $8 register reward. Plus, you're gonna get a $5 register reward for spending 15, so super awesome. So two of them, it's gonna total $17.98. We do have a $3 digital, so you'll pay $14.23. Then you're gonna get, then you're going to get back two separate register rewards, an $8 and a $5. It's gonna bring the final cost down to $1.98 or just 99 cents a piece. So this week, the Gillette Foamies are buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy two, you're gonna get a $4 register reward. So not as good as we've got it in the past, but this is also participating in that spend 15, get five. So if you needed to throw this into something else to reach that $15 total, this is a perfect item to do so. So at buy one, get one 50% off, it's $5.68 for the two. You're gonna get a $4 register reward, making it $1.68 for two or just 84 cents each. So ideally the secret and the old spice like should be included in that promotion because they are part there, like the brands there, Secret and Old Spice. But I've been seeing that it's not printing out the $5 PNG one, unfortunately. It's just printing out the $5 when you buy three normal weekly ad. Um, so I don't know what's, well, this is actually good through February 24th. So I don't know if you guys have tried it out and it's working for you, definitely let us know in the comment section down below. One thing to know is that there's no limit on how many $5 spend 15, get a $5 register reward you get, but you do only get one per transaction. So if you're going to do several different deals, make sure you split them up to make sure you get that $5 register reward on each one. So this week, the dial hand soap is on sale two for five. We do have a dollar off of two digital. So you'll pay $4 for the two or just $2 each. And you can pay with Walgreens cash. We have a decent deal on the Dove body wash. Not a stock up price for me, but if it's something you guys like to use, we're gonna grab it for $2.50 a piece versus seven. So you wanna pick up two. There's on sale for $7. And when you buy two, you're gonna get a $2 register reward. So the total for two is $14. We do have a $7 off of two digital. So you'll pay the $7. You can pay with Walgreens cash. And then you're gonna get that $2 register reward, making it $5 for the two or just $2.50 each. Here's an awesome deal that you can grab online. It's these Cantu masks. They're $1.79 online. You wanna grab two. We have a $4 off of two digital. So the reason why this is only gonna work online is because two of these, even at $1.99, are less than $4. So that digital is not gonna come off in store. But if you add it curbside, that digital will come off. It'll adjust down to the price. So you'll basically be getting it for free. The only thing is pickup is an or minimum of $10. So this is something to add into an already existing online order that you're gonna pick up because you have to spend $10 and this is zero. And you could see the other item I had in my cart was this air warmer at $2.99 because we have a $4 digital for this as well. 
Again, you can't do it in store because the product is less than the coupon. So online, it will adjust down to the $2.99. So another item to add into a curbside order. All right, we have several products that are part of a buy four, get a $5 register reward, and they're all on sale for $5.49. So you wanna grab the Platinum Plus. This is $5.49, it's not tagged for whatever reason, but it is, I scanned it in the app and double checked. So you wanna pick up one of these, there is a $2 digital. Um, if you guys get paper coupons though in the inserts, there's actually a $2.50 paper coupon. So if you can use that, it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you. Next item you wanna grab is this twin pack of Febreze, $5.49. There's a $2.30 digital for this. You can grab one of the Febreze small spaces at $5.49. There's a $2.30 digital for this. And the last item you wanna grab is one of these Swiffer products. There's a $2 digital. Scan them and make sure you're grabbing the one because I think, I felt like this one didn't attach to the digital. But one thing also that I've been noticing is I've been seeing that the $2 digital is not coming off at the register for it for whatever reason even though it's attaching to the product in the app i don't know so there is i wonder if this is going to be any different i did print off this two dollar paper coupon from the pg good everyday website remember these expire in 24 hours so do not print it out unless you're ready to use it so i'm wondering if this one would work on it um i might try it we'll see i'm gonna see what my budget is gonna allow me to do but you could always try this and if your $2 digital doesn't come off, you could always call customer service and they could, you know, manually, manually give you, they'll give you Walgreens cash for it. Okay, so the total for all four of these products is $21.96. After all the digitals come off, fingers crossed the Swiffer one does, you'll pay $13.36, get a $5 register reward, making it $8.36 for the four products or just $2.09 each. So if you didn't want to use those digitals in the buy four get five you could just pick up like this single account at 329 use that two dollar and thirty cent digital it'll make it 99 cents and same thing with the febreze the single counts are 329 use that three two dollar and thirty cent digital it'll make it just 99 cents as well so another thing in the spin 15 get five png promotion are the gain so you can grab two of the ones at 9.99 because when you buy two you're also going to get a five dollar registry reward so you can pick up the gain liquid here as well as this gain um what are these called dryer sheets at 9.99 we don't have any digitals right now so picking up two of them is gonna total $19.98. So you would pay that. You're gonna get back a $5 register reward for buying two and then a $5 register reward for spending 15. So it's gonna make it $9.98 for the two or just $4.99 each. So I know it's like, it. so here, it doesn't list gain on there, right? Um, and it doesn't list downy either, but this is like on a downy product. So, when you scan the product in your app, it's going to um, show you on the bottom, I'll pop up a picture. It'll say spend 15, earn $5 Walgreens cash. That means it's participating. The other thing is I got, I did a deal this past weekend on diapers cause I really needed them. And I um, got this and it shows you all the participating products. So always I'll see Bounty, Charmin, Crest, Dawn, Downy, Gain, Gillette, Olay, Old Spice, Oral-B, Pampers, Secret, Swiffer, Tide, and Venus. So even though they're not all listed on the tag in the store, these are all the ones that are prom are uh, promoting, are participating. More for self on sale for $5.99. We have a $2 digital, making it just $3.99. Super easy deal there. All right, this is probably my favorite deal of the week because it's super easy. Um, you wanna pick up three. So there are several different options you can do. So the Crest products are buy three get a $5 registry reward. So it's all the ones that are on sale for $5. These are also participating in the spin 15, get a $5 register reward for the P&G products. So when you pick up three, we're gonna grab $2, two $5 register rewards. So a total of $10 back. So how you would do this deal to make it work the best is grab three ideally of the same products. Walgreens is notorious for if you mix and match products, even though the coupon attaches to each one of them, it doesn't come off. So I will show you all the different options you can grab. Remember, digitals are one-time use only, so you're gonna either grab it, um, pick which deal works best for you, or if you have two separate accounts, you can do them on two separate accounts. Um, so you can do either three of the Crest, whoa, three of the Crest toothpaste that are $5. 
um, you can either do three of the Oral-B toothbrushes that are $5. Um, because we have a $5 off of three digital, the other ones you can grab are three of the these Glide um, floss sticks for five bucks. Five ducks, yeah, right, five bucks. The other, okay, two more options actually. They're all out of these ones at my store, but it's the Crest Pro Health. Um, they only have one actually, but so you'd wanna, I, like I said, best way is to try to grab three of the same products because that's gonna kind of ensure that you don't have any issues. That or the scope for $5. Look, there are two different um, varieties, so make sure you're grabbing all the same variety. <laughs> so you would pay $15. No, the total for three is $15. After that $5 off of three digital, you're left to pay $10, but you're gonna get $10 back in registry rewards. So it's gonna make three big old items completely free. I'm pretty well stocked on toothbrushes and toothpaste so far. So I think I'm gonna pick up these floss sticks. Another item I just realized that was these actual floss, not the sticks, the floss for $5. So you can grab three of these as well. So just see what your store has in stock. Keep in mind, when I scan some of the items, there are a couple different digitals that attach to them. There's like a $3 off or a $2 off two, a $1 off one, I don't know. Ideally, I wouldn't have any other coupon clipped besides the $5 one because I cannot guarantee that one of those other lower value ones won't come off. I don't know. They just, sometimes they have a mind of their own of what happens. So you can, fortunately for Walgreens, you can remove coupons. All you have to do is go to your saved offers list on the app and it'll say remove right underneath it. It's super easy. And it'll say you can never add it back on, which is kind of true. You can't reclip it if it's not no longer available because there are some coupons that are no longer available to clip but they're still on your list if that's the case then yes you're not gonna be able to reclip it again unfortunately but if it's a coupon that's still available for everybody to clip you can reclip it so but yeah just be careful with that all right so the colgate products that are on sale for five dollars are also buy two get a five dollar register reward so pick up two for ten dollars we do have a four dollar off of two digital so you'll pay six dollars you can pay with walgreens cash you're gonna get a five dollar register reward back making them 50 cents each there's an awesome deal on the walgreens brand of the hair skin and nails gummies if you can grab two my store only has one so i can't do this but they're buy one get one free and when you buy two, you're gonna get a $5 register reward. So without any coupons needed, you'll pay the $8.99, you pick up two, you'll pay the $8.99. You can use Walgreens cash. You're gonna get a $5 register reward back, making it $3.99 for the two, or just $1.99 each. I think that's a really good deal. So this week the Pop-Tarts are on sale two for $4. So you can pick two of them up. You can pay with Walgreens cash. And then submit to Ibotta for a dollar back when you buy two, making it $3 for the two or just $1.50 each. The other one is on the General Mills cereal. These are on sale two for five. We do have a dollar off of two digital. So you'll pay $4. You can pay with Walgreens cash. And then submit your receipt over to Ibotta for a dollar back when you buy two, making it $3 for the two or just $1.50 each as well. All right, so the Scott toilet paper is on sale for $5. Well, I don't think it's really on sale. That's how it normally is. <laughs> but we have a store coupon for $1.25. And I have a, my digital coupon I have is for $2 off of two of the Scott toilet paper. And it's in my list. It's no longer available to clip. So check what you have in your saved offers. I always recommend when new coupons come out, especially on items like this that we always get deals on, clip them because then you're no longer going to be be able to clip them when the time comes but if you have they're there for you to use so this the thing with this store coupon is it's gonna come off a dollar 25 twice so if i grab two i'm gonna get two dollars and fifty cents off with the store coupon and then two dollars off with the digital coupon because those do work together it's gonna make each one just two dollars and seventy five cents all right here's everything that i'm gonna grab today but i'm gonna do the venus first because since i'm gonna do another png promotion I'm gonna have to break those up into separate transactions. I'm gonna do this first, use a $5 registry reward and $10 in Walgreens cash to hopefully have a super low out of pocket and maybe get a spin booster to print out, we'll see. All right, so bad news, no paper booster printed out, I am bummed, but everything else went smoothly. I did roll a $5 register reward and it was the PNG register reward. So those are rolling people because I got back a $5 PNG 
again. So definitely rolling on, you know, buying the PNG, using a register reward to pay and redoing it. So here's my two register rewards I got back. And um, so yeah, this leaves it at the whatever I had said. I'm trying to be fast guys, sorry. But I, out of my pocket, I rolled $10 in Walgreens cash to pay. So I, and I used $1.53 from my PNG Visa gift card. So nothing's coming out of my bank account. So $0. And I have like more register rewards to use towards this next transaction. All right, so even though I didn't get a paper booster printed out, I do have the digital spin booster of spend 30, get seven. So since I got enough register rewards to keep my out of pocket low and that PNG coupon to not come out of my bank account, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna grab the three floss and then that whole little scenario there. I'm gonna use this $2 digital too, seeing if that works and $16 in register rewards. So I will let you guys know how that goes. All right, so on this receipt, I was doing the spend 30, get $7 in Walgreens cast digital spin booster. So I got three of those floss sticks, the Febreze's, the Cascade, and the Swiffer. That Swiffer coupon, I used the um, paper coupon just cause like I said, people were having issues with the digitals coming off. I don't know if that's still the case. Sometimes things get fixed throughout the week, but I just used the paper coupon just to keep it safe and it scanned perfectly fine. All my other digitals came off as well. And I rolled $16 in the register rewards from the previous transaction. And I think I had a $3 one from last week, a three and eight and a five. Left my subtotal at $7.36, adding back in the $16. This receipt is $23.36. I did get back the, where is it? Oops. $7.31 for my digital spin booster. And I got back, here's the sad thing guys. I did not get a double dip on the oral, what is it, the floss sticks. I did get the $5 for spending the 15 on them. And this is for those four products because I did my second receipt, cause I didn't know, right? I'm like, okay, which is this PNG? Is it for, um, is, was this one for the floss sticks or was this one for the four products I grabbed? I didn't know. So on a separate, um, so another receipt, I grabbed three more of the floss. This is the regular floss now, not, not the sticks. Um, remember those digitals are one time use. So I switched my accounts. I used my husband's account for the first one and my account for this one. That digital came off. So left the subtotal at $10. I just used $10 in Walgreens cash to pay for that. Um, and then all I got back was that PNG one. I did not get the buy three, get $5 register reward. So it's that one that did not print out. The PNG one printed out perfectly fine. It was the buy three, get five on the oral care. So um, I was in a rush. I didn't have time to deal with it. Um, so what I'm going to end up trying to do is I can either call customer service and what they'll do is just probably issue me Walgreens cash, or you can submit to the Catalina company. I have that linked down in the description box below. You just send them your receipt, what the deal is, and then they'll send you a, one of these in the mail, um, eventually. And it doesn't take super long. They usually come pretty quick. So I might do that instead um, instead of, cause I, of the Walgreens cash, I don't know. We'll see what I do, but I'm hoping I get that gets $10 friends, $10. So I'm definitely going to be working to get that back. So with everything said, I actually, um, use that P and G visa gift card from their rebate last month or the last, um, rebate they had where it was like spend 50, get 15, yada, yada. So from my account, my couponing account, I actually didn't spend any money because I don't count that PNG coupon as cash coming back. I didn't count it into any of my factor into any of my cash costs. So I'm okay to use that to pay and not count it as coming out of my account because I never counted it as coming in. I hope that makes sense. So I use that to pay. So $0 out of my pocket. Same thing with this. I used $5 in Walgreens cash because my total was like 36 something, I had to just make sure to spend 30. That's why I was able to use $5 in Walgreens cash and still stay above that $30 mark to get my um, Walgreens cash back. So left the subtotal after the Walgreens cash at $5.54, which I just used 
that card for. So again, nothing out of my pocket for any of this. So all of this is actually, and then I have that Venus that I showed you earlier. All of that is $0 out of my account. And I'm super happy with that. This out of, um, if I'm not counting that $5 register reward that hasn't come back yet, it's $6.36 for everything, which is an amazing deal. That's eight products. But if I get back that $5 register reward, it would make it have just $1.36 for all products. So definitely let me know if you guys are having any issues with that double. I don't know. I don't like how Walgreens says that. They'll, it'll be working at the beginning of the week and then they stop it. But it's like, it's in their ad. It's in their, they should honor it, you know, right? That's not cool. But anyway, let me know if you guys have any, have, have had any issues with register rewards, not printing out like they should, which when I did this Venus, it did, right? I showed you, I got the $8 and the $5 PNG. So it worked perfectly fine for that but it didn't for the oral care products. So we'll um, try to get that money back for sure. Oh, and still no digital spin booster. This is what I've been getting, a paper spin booster, sorry. Still no paper spin booster. It's been 20% off your $40 purchase. So have you guys been getting any paper spin boosters? Let me know. Okay, so super bummed that those register rewards didn't print out that I was hoping to, but I'm definitely going to be following up on that because that's $10 we are not gonna be missing out on. Um, like I said, let me know if there's any promotions that are working for you, aren't working for you. I don't like that this happens at Walgreens and I can understand the frustration from some of you guys that you're like, I hate Walgreens because this happens, but I mean, these are just the little hiccups that sometimes happen, but it's totally worth it when 90% of the time for me, things go super well. This haul, you know, $0 out of my pocket. So either way, I can't complain about that. Um, I think that's about all I have for you guys today. Like I said, I'm trying to just keep this short and simple and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.